Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's get cracking with this basic camouflage. Uh, just a reminder, I am in the shading tab. I've got my object loaded and a principled shader already applied to it. And I have viewport shading enabled using the Cycles Rend Engine. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is press Shift A to search for a wave texture. Plonk that in here. Press Control T to apply a texture coordinate and mapping node. If you don't have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can search for those manually in the same way you've just searched for the wave texture. I'm going to change the wave type to rings, the rings direction to spherical, and the wave profile to triangle. And this is going to get plugged into the base color. Make sure you've got object set on your texture coordinate. Change the scale to 5, the distortion to 2, detail to 0, detail scale to 5, roughness leave at 0.5, and the phase off change to 47. Next, press Shift D to duplicate that wave texture. Connect that to the mapping node vector. And then we need a mix RGB to connect those together. We'll set that mix mode to difference. And for the scale, 4.5, distortion 4, detail 0, detail scale 5, roughness 0.5, and phase offset. Uh, 47. So you can see we've got a lot going on there already. Now we need to control a bit of that with uh, a couple of extra things. So we're going to grab a color ramp, pop that in between the wave texture and the mix node, duplicate it and put that on the other connector. And then we'll also need to add more mix RGB nodes. Pop one between each of the color ramps and our final mix RGB. Change these both to add. And now we need to do some mucking about with color. So on the top color ramp, we're changing the color mode to constant. I'm going to move the white value to position 0.7 and change it to a sort of military green. Let's say there, no, not there. Let's bring that value down a bit. wanting more of a khaki green so I need to go more into the yellow should we say that let's say that 0 0.32 0 0.65 0 0.31 yeah let's work with that let's grab that hex code because we need to use that in our other um, thingies Again, changing that to constant, the white value to position 0.7 and apply the same color value, already looking good. And then we're actually going to change these colors to match that. So again, we're just pasting that hex code into each of those. And you can see how these mixed shaders are combining to make that same green, all those different shades. Now, 
over on the principled shader we've got a couple of changes to do we're going to change the specular value to 0.35 specular is basically the glossiness and i dropped this down a bit but i left some because you would get some kind of reflectiveness but we can dampen that down with the roughness by increasing that to 0.6 uh, sheen tint's probably not going to make any difference because I haven't got any sheen applied, but I'm just going to put it up there anyway. And then everything else is going to stay the same there. Now to roughen that down a bit, we're going to add a noise texture. Plug that into the normal and add a bump node and connect the noise texture to the height. Now it's way too much right now, um, but we're going to change the scale to 10 on the noise texture, detail to 15, roughness to 0.5 and zero on the distortion. On the bump node, changing the strength to 0.2 and the distance to 0.1. So it's hardly visible. In fact, if I just preview the bump node, you can just about make out some form of texture we could probably even drop that down a little bit more. Uh, and that is, believe it or not, about it. So we've got our basic camouflage there. So let's send that to render. I'm using a thousand samples, probably good. In fact, actually, let's just drop that down to 500. Uh, not too worried about the light paths. And let's send that to render. Okay, and there you have a basic camouflage texture. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a, a like and of course subscribe for future content. I am trying to build a channel over time, so every like and every subscribe really does help. In the meantime, thanks for watching.